get right into this. We have here an energy that they're in a think tank type of mindset. They're preparing and planning for some type of means or way to get out of their current living situation or status. Um, this person could be withdrawn. They're currently longing for someone um, craving them and this is partly due to why they're making such big plans here. Okay, so this person is pretty conflicted about what they've been, what they put work on in the past and it seems they've changed gears. This person usually likes the chase or likes when people chase them, but something's happened that's changed the course of that. Now with regards to this energy that they're longing for, it seems that they're hoping that one day, somewhere sometime, uh, it, it's a divine feminine that they're hoping that they can reconnect with and show them some type of loyalty. And they're overwhelmed, it seems, until they reach that point, or they're overwhelmed that they miss this person so much that they're at a breaking point and they're longing for them and they're hoping that one day they can let them know that they can be loyal. Wants to have a family with them. They're conflicted about their decisions. They're reminiscing. They feel like this person was their soulmate, their deep love connection. And they're regretful about not opening their heart space. when they had an opportunity and they feel like they're falling apart because of some type of unbalance in their life. And they've been running. This person claims to be a free spirit, but they could be suffering some type of karmic pattern. This could be something passed down through family. Or if uh, one would believe this, this could be something from past life, that they're serving some type of karmic debt from a past life. This person is clinging and holding on to the idea that one day that they can create this new world or this opportunity where they can get this energy back. They miss this person terribly. And this person suffers from an irrational fear of rejection, which may be why they're planning so hard they can't handle hearing a no or being rejected. Oh, that is way too many spirit. <clears throat> this person is seeking balance. They're looking for balance and they're trying to determine the best choice to get them closer to this. So they believe this person is their twin flame or they have a really deep connection with this person. And they're under a lot of stress. There could be arguments going on in their background. It says family here for fertility, pregnancy, parenthood. So you could have a family or it could be stress with family. And it just would help if they had this person in their lives they're missing. Distance. Hopefully, hoping. Storm. Okay, so this person's obsession is causing instability and term turmoil in their lives, and they're really 
doing their all to manifest this person back in their life. I'm not sure what they're doing specifically, but they feel like this person abandoned them, walked away. They feel like this person is being cold to them. Yeah, they're still trying to manifest them back. And this person does not have time on their side. They were trying to use time. For example, yeah, this person is hurt better that they can have a new beginning due to the distance this person could be blocked so many distractions they want to they're trying to cut out all the distractions so they can get this second chance. They want to reconciliate with this person. They want a reconciliation. And again, it's just causing them so much stress. And there's tension in their background. Apology. They want to apologize. They like to return. They're very sorry. So they're bitter because they're hurt. They miss this person. They wish they could have a new beginning. And they're working on a way to get out of this. Well, their pride has something to do with them being in this rock and this hard place situation. That also could be why they're sidetracked and delayed and having a hard time getting this second chance. They could be influenced by external figures such as friends, family. Influencing their decisions. And they feel like they are cursed. They want to come clean and reveal how much pain they're in. And they're apprehensive to share it. Stubborn even about it, but they're so tired. They're drained. This has just been a long, ongoing thing for them. They're tired of this cycle they want out. I'm hearing we hate it here. I hate it here. They want something better for themselves. But what did they do that they ended up in this situation? That they feel like this? boundaries so they feel like they cross someone's boundaries or they feel like someone put up boundaries against them and had enough of them uh, possibly could have had something to do with their <clears throat> stubbornness arrogance or ego too much pride <clears throat> this could have had something to do with being influenced by others or their attachments to others or certain things Well, uh, please take it as it resonates. 
they miss the chemistry, the passion that they used to have with this energy that they're missing. That they want to make all these plans to come towards final energy. There must have something, I'm sorry, there must have been something pretty beautiful about this energy that they're having such harsh realizations, you know? It says nourish blood. So, this person pretends that they are soulful, but they're not. It seems they have some healing to do here. What else does the collective need to know about this? This person definitely has some healing they need to do. Secret admirer, resistant to change, but somehow they're terribly broken and shattered without this other energy 